<sighs> What's the matter, Reliker? Well, you know, I need 65 fletching to get this diamond into bolt tips, but I really can't kill 155,678 more Lanzix. And even though I allowed the exception to cut that one tree, it feels like cheating. I just wish there was even a single tree inside Relica. What happened to all of them? We, um, used them. Hmm. Now he's lost it completely. One of the biggest grinds that we have is 65 fletching and I'm gonna make headless arrows all the way from 16 to 65 which means I'm gonna need 335,000 headless arrows that I'll have to make minus whatever amount of XP I get from arrow tips from the smithing grind. I'm going to buy all the feathers from the fishmonger for 2 GP each which means we're gonna need 670k cash plus whatever we need for the rest of the Fremenic helmets. And at the moment I am theming from the nature rune chest here. I am 21 smithing, so going from 21 to 30, which is our goal for the moment, is 600 silver bars. So I'll grind the same amount of natures here to sell at the same time. 600 silver bars and 600 natures. Sigmund the Merchant buys the nature runes for about 90 coins each and silver bars for 75 coins each. So this should make about a 100k profit. So that is going to be a nice start at the least. Imagine this, it's a cozy Saturday night with light rain outside, you fire up your 10 year old Dell laptop and boot up RuneScape just to see this. Or this. Wouldn't you rather see this? Well put in an order to today's sponsor Amsidia and get a fully assembled and optimized high quality gaming PC built with handpicked components that is ready to plug in and play the moment you unbox it. From liquid cooling to digital CPU temperature display functionalities, every PC is rigorously stress tested so you can game without worries. Every system is fully optimized including BIOS and drivers, overclocked memory, Arctic MX6 thermal paste, pre-installed and updated windows and slick and clean design and cable management. Amcidia has a variety of PCs ready for next day shipping so order yours today by checking out their website at amcidia.com or click the link in the description and enjoy a whole new level of performance and quality before you can say Lanzig. A big thank you to Amcidia for sponsoring this video, now let's get back to making some money so I can afford one of those premium PCs as well. Oh, a Quizmaster. I took a little break and I'm fishing sharks here, but let's see what we get from this one. And obviously we take the mystery box here and we get... Wow! Okay, a steel plate, buddy. I did not expect that at all. I was gonna smith this at like, what, 48 smithing? So this is kind of a little chunk goal for us to wear this. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a lot better than the bronze team buddy that we have at the moment, plus 11 crush bonus. And looks f***ing sick. Um, but I did not expect that at all. That was very weird. We were gonna get this anyways, but yeah, it's pretty nice to have it already. Another random event already, the Freaky Forester. We have the legs, let's get another piece for sure. A two-tail fashioned. There you go. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, probably the fastest I've ever done a random event, but there we go. What do we get? The hat or the top? We get the hat. That is beautiful. That is the best looking piece in my opinion. Uh, we are looking absolutely sick in this gear. The steel plate body, <laughs> the leather horse and shorts and the leather horse and hat is looking very, very good. And that is going to be the last nature rune for now. 600 nature runes right there. And now we just go and get 600 silver bars, right? pick up the pickaxe and here we go so 600 silver is gonna get us from level 21 to level 30 when we can smith some steel bars so we're gonna skip the iron chair basically completely and uh yeah that's gonna be very good so get ready for some rapid fire levels let's go the first mining level of many level 25 and not too far after 26 mining 22 smithing 27 mining 28 mining, 
and level 30 mining we can now mine coal so that is going to be a chunk goal for us let's go and do that Well, that took its time, but there it is, a medium task in framing area, and that is the last achievement diary task that we have. All of those chunk goals are now completed. Just some uh, <coughs> bigger goals to go for now. 24 smithing and 31 mining. 25 smithing and 32 mining. And there's 26 smithing. You can now make iron chainmail bodies. So that would have been our <laughs> best in slot for now. But luckily we got the steel plate body, so we don't need that. It is time for today's fun relic of facts. And a flashback to last episode's fun fact as well. I asked for your help in discovering the bug in the Fremnik name acquisition, and a weaver by the name of Femme Metale came through and succeeded in getting their name replaced with an empty string as shown in this screenshot. So that is pretty cool, a big thank you to Femme Metale for doing the work and providing the screenshot. Today's fun fact has also to do with names, namely one Fremnik by the name of Bardur. He lives in the caves beneath Borderworth Island and trades sharks for Fremnik equipment, and his name refers to the word barter, as in bartering sharks for equipment. But even more interesting is that he actually has a combat level, which is 94, and he could previously be attacked by players before an update changed this. The reason for him having a combat level and being attackable is still unknown as far as I know, but the next time you go into this Dagoneth Kings, try not to aggravate him too much or he might just jump on you. 33 mining, 34 mining, 27 smithing iron kite shields, 35 mining, 28 smithing, 2 more to go, and 36 mining, mining level 37, and smithing 29, 38 mining, and finally the last smithing level 4 now, level 30 smithing, we can now smelt steel. So that is gonna be so much better XP than smelting iron from Lanzix. And as for the money, we have 5 nature runes left, so we have smelted and sold about 595 silver bars and uh, nature runes. And I am up to 238k, so not too shabby at all. But I think I'm going to go to level 35 smithing now instead of level 30, because at level 35 we can actually smelt this into something useful, and that is the steel arrowheads. Uh, so we can get some more fletching XP from the steel boss if we go with that route. But I do have to say that silver smelting is probably quite a bit faster than Lancet killing. Uh, I'm going to do some testing in the future, but yeah, I uh, really kind of like this method, not too bad. Couple more levels coming in, there's 31 smithing, we can now make iron plate legs, so that is our new best in slot, leg armors. Big level 40 mining, we could now mine gold if there was any in here. And 41 mining, we could now mine with the rune pickaxes if we had one. There is one in Keldegrim, so maybe in the future. And level 32 smithing, we can now make steel maces, that is a mini chunk gold that we have, the best prayer bonus available. And we just passed 300k, so 302k at the moment. That's gonna get us maybe about halfway to our fletching goal, so still a lot of money together here. 42 mining, 33 smithing. We can now make iron plate buddies that are completely redundant because we have the steel plate buddy, but that is every single iron item that we can now do if we so wish. Just the steel ones to go. 43 mining. I got a ruby from the mining and now that we have the crafting level we can actually cut and sell these. 500 extra GP. Well everything helps at this point dude. And I didn't even notice but we just passed 5 million XP. That is some beautiful progression on the account. 34 smithing. One more and we can smelt this steel boss into arrow tips. One more level. And I gotta say, the silver mining and smithing is not that bad XP per hour. We're getting about 2000 smithing XP per hour, so not the best, obviously, but not the worst either, and uh, probably a lot faster than killing Lanzix. Last mining level for now, level 44. And there we go, the last smithing level. 35 smithing, you can now make steel arrowheads. So that is where every single one of our steel bars are gonna go. Now let's go ahead and test some Lanzi kills. 
So let's put on our Berserker helmets, our new found steel blade body, and I'm gonna kill Lanzik here for an hour and see what kind of smithing XP rates we are getting. Um, yeah, I'm really curious to see what we get. So there we go, almost on the dot, one hour of killing Lanzix, and uh, oh, we got Sin Ore on our last one, that is perfect. So we got basically one of every single of the uh, ore drops, or the smithing supply drops, except we got four coal drops, which is kind of weird. And I spent about 20 minutes of the hour fishing for food and got uh, 53 kills in the rest of this hour, which is pretty much on the dot to get one of each smithing supply drop from Lanzik. So at this rate we could expect uh, 5 bronze bars and 6 steel bars per hour. And uh, let me just calculate. That is 406 XP per hour. So uh, yeah, this is 5 times slower than the silver bars. Uh, however, it does train your combats and gets closer to protection prayers, but I don't think it is all that worth it, but I'll probably do some kind of mix of these in the future. Uh, but for now, let's go and smelt these up. So let us take a little bit of a closer look at silver versus steel. We need 69,000, nice, 315 XP to go from 35 to 49. Silver bars are 13.7 XP each, and Lanzigs at the moment are 7.93 XP each, which means we need either 5060 silver bars or 8736 Lanzigs killed. So if we make a little pros and cons list for both methods, silver bars sell for 66 GP each if I'm selling 5 per world, basically funding the whole level 65 fletching grind. It is 2000 smithing XP for hours, so at least 5 times as fast as Lanzigs. It is semi AFK, it doesn't need any food, gives us mining XP, a lot of it. I'm gonna be like almost level 60 mining by the end of this grind if I go for the silver, and we get the chance at the mining pet as well. For Lanzik, we get combat XP, which is very valuable in the future. We get arrow tips for fletching, so we have to make less headless arrows. We have a chance to get the big shark when we are fishing for food. There's no world hopping needed, and it is more interesting than mining, I think. So overall, mining and smelting silver is faster and smarter. It's about a 35 to 40 hour grind. And I'm probably just gonna do a combination of both methods, uh, just switching up whenever I get bored of one or the other. I'm probably gonna do a bit more silver than Lanzix if I had to guess, but we'll just have to see how it goes. There we go, three steel bars made, and now we're gonna go and mine six coal so that we can make the rest of these iron ore into steel bars as well. And that is the last of them. Now let's make all of these into steel arrow tips. Beautiful. Those are all 75 XP each. So that is a pretty nice amount of fletching XP at the moment. And I'm going to make the bronze bars into arrow tips as well. Those are going to help just a little bit more. And uh, yeah, there we go. 90 steel arrow tips. And we're going to end up with 75 bronze arrow tips as well. Um... <laughs> Probably not all that worth it, but we'll see. Oh, we have a dunce random. Of course, we are taking an exam for sure. And there we go, book of knowledge. This is obviously going into smithing, and that is 525 XP, so more than one hour of Lanzik killing from that one book. I, yeah, that is quite something. Almost another hour of killing Lanzigs, but I am running out of inventory space. We have Again, 15 or on the last kill. What the hell is this? <laughs> okay, so we have uh, 5 tin right here and we have 5 iron ore stacked here on the table. Uh, I gotta see how I manage this inventory. I really don't need that other 5 tin drop, so I guess I'm just gonna leave 5 tin right here. And yeah, we had a little bit better luck than last time. We have 10 iron, 5 tin, 5 copper and 2 steel bars, so... Not too bad. Let's go and make all of these into steel and bronze bars. Here we go. Smelt everything. And I'm going to make a couple of iron bars first because I want to make those iron blade legs. Let's see how many we are going to lose here. Two out of three. Ah, nice. Three out of three. Now let's go ahead and... Uh, no, this is steel. 
iron right there. Let's go and make the iron blade legs. That is our new best in slot for uh, legs. Plus then crush bonus over the later hose on legs. And that is looking pretty damn solid, not gonna lie. And the rest of them is obviously going into arrow tips, but now we need some more coal again. Let's go and mine some. So I got this tip from Settled in one of his videos. He said that if you stall for six ticks and mine on the seventh tick with an iron pickaxe, you can get a double or chance. So basically whenever my uh, pickaxe is in the air like that, I'm going to click away and mine on another rock and it should get me a double chance to get the ore. Although I don't seem to be doing it right or I'm getting unlucky. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think it worked there, maybe? I don't know, I'm, I'm too dumb for this. <laughs> Well, that is all of the steel bars and bronze bars again made into tips. Uh, I'm going to drop my bronze bolts here. I'm not going to need them for anything. And now we are going to make all of these steel arrows and bronze arrowheads into arrows. Make some more fletching XP. And I made myself a steel axe so we can cut some wood uh, from the palisade, of course. Not from outside of the relica. I misclicked. Don't, don't kill me, please. Okay, so what I was going to say is that we are going to buy all of the feathers right here from the fishmonger. The feather packs are 260 coins and the normal feathers are 2 coins. So I guess we are buying the normal feathers. Although I'm not sure how fast they are going to... Oh, that is kind of bad. So we have to, I guess, buy 5 at a time. Yeah, 5 at a time and they are costing 2 coins. If we buy 10, they are going up to 3 coins. So that is not too great. So if we buy five at a time, we could get like 180, 160, 170k feathers or something like that. Uh, but uh, this is going to take a really, really long time. So I guess I'm just going to buy the feather packs one at a time. At least that is like 100 feathers at a time. And uh, we should get like 140k or something like that feathers. I can't do maths on video. Just don't, don't add me, okay? Two hours later and finally that is going to be the last feather pack 142,000 feathers holy hell that took a long time okay but we have all of the money is spent and we have a lot of feathers now we just go ahead and start cutting down some palisade walls obviously not trees or anything like that nope just palisade walls and uh oh my god fishing levels Mm, 69. Lol noob, can't even do Vorkath, get a life, ha <laughs> ha It's him. And just like that, he's gone. Okay, let's get to work. A shout out to my man Relactivity. We are both out here just fishing for some sharks, taking a little break from the fletching. Ah, it's nice to have some friends in here. And through the magic of video editing, we now have 143,000 arrow shafts ready to go and attach into these feathers. Let's get some fletching levels. And since it's gonna take a little bit of time to make all of these into arrow shafts, I think I'm gonna do some nature rune thieving at the same time. Every 15 seconds I can theme from the chest, get a nature rune and uh, fletch a set of arrows meanwhile. Because this is just a little portion of our fletchy grind, we still need like 200,000 more feathers and arrow shafts and everything, so we still have a lot of money to make. And uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be the best method to get some money that we have at the moment. The first level of many coming in, 45 fletching, 46 fletching, 47 fletching, you're gonna make a light ballista, yeah you wish, level 48 fletching, 
My friend Mr. Count Check always coming through with the lamps and I also have a book of knowledge right here. So we're stacking up some smithing XP. 49 fletching. Big moment coming in here. Any day now. There we go. Less than 100 to go. 40,000 mate. Uh, it's been like one and a half hours, but we are going strong. 250 nature runes gathered up and uh, yeah, we should get like 750 at this rate, I think. Not too bad. A massive level coming in, level 50 fletching and 750 total. That is so beautiful and that is why I was saving all of these books and lamps because I wanted to get those <laughs> levels at the same time. I know I'm weird. Uh, let's go with smithing. There we go. Level 36 smithing from the book. Nothing too much in the unlocks and the lamp as well in the smithing. 360 XP. That is so nice. Okay, continuing on with the fletching. 51 fletching. And our first thieving level of the grind coming in. Level 54 thieving. And almost halfway through the stack of arrows. Still like 77k to go. 52 fletching. We could now make broad arrows if we had any slayer levels or anything like that, but nope. Whoop, a mysterious old man. It's a mime show. Sure, I'll do that. And what do we get? Mime gloves and legs. That is beautiful, I think. Um, it's gonna make my inventory a bit more cramped than it is. <laughs> I have five random event items in my inventory right now. And I really can't bank this until I get a Leo random, but I think that is the full set. Let me take a look. Yeah, full mime set acquired, so I really don't want to drop this now that I'm going to get some lamps from uh, mimes as well. So yeah, keep them around, I guess, until we get some Leo randoms. Oh, that is looking good. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, back to fletching. And level 53 fletching, you can now make a toxic blowpipe. Yeah, sure. Uh, just in time before the system update. Time to take a shower. 54 fletching and less than 50,000 more to go. Ooh, a mysterious old man. What do we get? Another mime show, back to back. There we go, and we should get a lamp for this now. Yep, that is so, so nice. That is obviously going... Ooh, I almost put in the fletching. <laughs> Put it in the smithing, 360 XP more. And another big level 55 fletching, we could now make maple longbows if we wanted to and could, but I'm just gonna make arrow tips, these are the most relic thing that I can make. I guess the least amount of rules that I'm breaking if I'm making everything into arrows, so no maple longbows for me. And another mime show, back to back to back. That is kinda insane, uh, sure I'll get the lamp. Just to show you, to take a look at this. I have gotten three mime shows back to back to back, all in the span of one day. That is kind of weird. And the lamp is obviously going into smithing. There we go, 360 XP more. <laughs> it's kind of funny, it even shows in the chat box that I have uh, the uh, two in the parentheses right there. That's kind of funny. The last fletching level that we are going to get for a while, level 56 fletching right there and only 13,000 arrows to go. Three, two, one, and that is all of them. 143,880 headless arrows made and 755 nature runes stolen as well. And yeah, we are basically halfway there. Only nine more levels to go until our chunk goal of 65 fletching. And we are 56 at the moment and 56 woodcutting as well. Uh, still gonna make like three to 400k more money so that we can buy all the feathers that we need. But yeah, that is gonna take some time. I'm gonna go back to silver mining, catching some sharks, selling them. And selling the nature runes as well, obviously. But yeah, that was a pretty nice head start into the fletching grind. So at the end of last episode, I got level 79 fishing. And I talked about if we went to level 80 fishing, I would be uh, dry for the big shark. And what do you know, there is level 80 fishing. A big, big milestone. But that also means that we are now dry for the big shark. And I did some calculations. And we have caught about 5,170 sharks. Plus minus maybe like 30 or 40 because I've done some big net fishing and others. So I can't be completely sure how many we have caught. But I'm just going to call it the 5170 sharks at the moment. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the same kind of rate that we have going at the moment. So one level per episode, see how many episodes we go until we get the big shock. We still have some grinds to do with the smithing and fletching, so no problem there. I'm just doing this while I'm editing and chilling and all that kind of stuff. But that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Amsidia for sponsoring this video. And also a big big thank you to all the channel members, Acorns the Earth, Batrap the Games, Cell 8, Teeters, Grayson and Tom XO. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.